The next important question from chapter transpiration is the diagram shown below is an apparatus used to study a particular phenomena in plants. So this question is diagram based question. You will see a diagram uh, here. So observe this diagram uh, properly. So the labelings are there is a reservoir, the air bubble and air tight container. Now the first question from this diagram is name the apparatus and purpose it is used for. So the name of this apparatus is Genong's potometer and this potometer is used to measure the rate of transpiration from the plant. Now the next question is what is the role played by the air bubble in this experiment? Now you can see in this diagram there is a capillary having air bubble inside it. So the change in position of that air bubble will give you in a particular time will give you the rate of transpiration. So the bubble moves along the capillary tube shows the absorption of water as plant absorb water the bubble will move towards the right direction and the time taken for the bubble to move between two fixed point uh, marked on the horizontal tube should be recorded means you have to record the times like in five minutes what is the position of bubble in 10 minutes what is the position of bubble and hence we are calculating the rate of transpiration the important part of this experiment that uh, actually this experiment related to absorption of water by the root but absorption is approximately equal to transpiration so by this we can measure the rate of transpiration next question from this diagram is what is the use of reservoir as you can see in this diagram that there is a reservoir of water just to uh, pushing back the bubble at its initial position means when you are done with one experiment with this apparatus you have to fix the bubble again at its initial position so you have to release the water from the reservoir just to push back the bubble at, at its initial position the next question is what happens to the movement of the air bubble if the apparatus is capped so first in the dark so it will move very slowly as transpiration will not occur due to closure of stomata means as you are keeping the plant in dark there is no sunlight so light intensity will directly affect the rate of transpiration so there is reduced rate of transpiration hence the bubble will move slowly the next condition is in sunlight so in sunlight the bubble will move faster due to rapid transpiration because of open stomata just for inward diffusion of carbon dioxide.